All right, I got my gasifier kind of fired up. Got it all run up to the engine or to the engine compartment. But I'm going to have to put more filters or use a different filter medium because I'm getting a lot of tar. I mean, lots of tar. It's just pulling it out. I don't have my carburetor stuff done yet. But I don't know why I'm getting so much tar with an, with an invert gasifier, but I'm sure that I'm going to have to put some other filter material um, in those two buckets because, as you can see, there's no smoke leaking out, so I don't have any leaks. But I'm getting tar. Now there is smoke there, but that is coming off of the label burning off. It burned off some last night and it's, I guess, finishing up now. Um, also, I fixed up a way to cut my wood into little small pieces. I would show you some of them, but they're all in the. Uh, gasifier now but what it is I took my skill saw mounted it upside down on a board that I could stick into my receiver hitch and I turn I turn the saw on and I just stick the this one's a little short but I just take the stick and I stick in here on the blade and I cut again and again and since it is tilted that way I can put the box right there like that as I'm cutting I already filled that box up twice and that five gallon bucket I filled it up once and it uh, it works pretty good it, it's pretty quick you know you just as quick as you can uh, stick the stick in there and pull it back it'll have it cut uh, of course it won't cut any big logs or anything like that but it works pretty good for just cutting small sticks and stuff okay and on this one side I redone a little bit this right here is a muffler um, uh, one added benefit of using the muffler is actually you get some cooling and you almost get like another cyclone effect because the gases come in the top go all the way down that pipe after I drilled the holes I saw it but that pipe goes all the way to the bottom and then you've got these coming across and the other side like it's the same way as it was I just redid this part and I was going to cut off these things, but those two I'm going to probably fasten to help hold it up. Fasten it to the um, psycho. And this one, I'm not going to cut it off for the simple fact that holds my toolbox lid up. Holds it up higher than the actual little holder does so hey I'm gonna leave that on there anyway here's what gas I'm getting out the smoke has changed color it will flare I don't know if we'll be able to see it on the camera I can't even see it myself and I'm actually here but Well, <clears throat> smoke's killing me. It was flaring off earlier. Um, I couldn't tell what color the flame was because I couldn't really see it hardly. I could just see the smoke go away. That smoke, how that smoke's blowing out like that. All of a sudden it would disappear and I would have nothing but a little ball of flame on the end of there. 
So I guess that part's working, but I have to change my filter medium or I'll destroy this engine. Because I am testing at the point right now where it will go into the engine. Um, if I don't cool it down a little bit more, it's, it is still, it's not hot, but it's not, not really cold either. You know, it's not cool. It could be a whole lot cooler, and I think that would help. Would probably help the flame too. I was thinking maybe I could take a uh, exhaust pipe and run it out to the left of that hook up beside the headlight and the turn signal. Bring it around the top of the grill, kind of bend it with the angle of the grill, and then back down the same way on the other side, kind of make like a push bar kind of thing and I think that would help to cool the gases more and actually it wouldn't look that bad either because it would actually look like a push bar uh, I could even put a piece between it to kind of uh, make it look a little bit better maybe even put something around my headlights I don't know I'm still still thinking on it but so far that's what I've got I mean it is going uh, I've got everything all the way up there. Um, I've just got to change my filter material. And I'm also going to have to finish my carburetor setup. But that's, that's all for right now. Well, I mean, I know what I could do. I can set this camera up and I'll film how this woodcutter works not be able to see it right there let's see Might be able to see that. Okay, well that's, that's how that works, and the noise you heard was, I've got to redo my guard because it actually didn't make it out of a little thicker metal, but it does, it works pretty good for cutting those small pieces up, and also I can scoop up the sawdust, and I can use that too. So huh, that's what I've got so far, and that's what's going on. Anybody has any suggestions about what I can put in my filter buckets? I would really appreciate it. Because um, 
apparently what I've got in there is not working because I'm getting way too much tar out of this system with an invert there shouldn't be any an invert shouldn't have any tar like that maybe a little bit but nothing like that I mean that's awful and that's after the filters so I don't know if it's because of my filter system or what but if anybody has any suggestions they would really be appreciated yeah thank you for watching